everybody, welcome back to Signed by Roxy. This is going to be the second series of my moving vlogs and this is going to be the empty house tour of the house that we're currently in. The video was filmed about, I think, four or five months ago. So obviously right now, not pregnant anymore. If you don't know that, then follow me on Instagram because I post way more updates there. So as of last November, we did move. Now we are in military housing. One of the reasons why we chose this house and the neighborhood that we're in is because of the price point. That being said, that basically means that the house that we're in is not as nice or as newly renovated as some of the military housing options are. And it's really just because our main priority was to pocket a portion of the BAH that we get. If you don't know what BAH stands for, it means basic allowance for housing. What we wanted to do was we wanted to pocket a bit of that money, you know, to save for our future finances or for trips down the road. And this house that we're in, um, we really had to take into consideration a lot of the factors like the price, the location, and also considering like where we are now as a family and also where we wanted to be in the future. Again, heads up, it's not gonna be as nice as some of the military houses out there, but for us, this is home. I love our house, we've turned it into ours and hopefully in the next few months or so, or maybe in the next few weeks, let's see, we might be able to do a house tour with all of our things inside the house. For now, please do enjoy the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Guys, so I'm currently in our new place over in Hokulani. I'm gonna do a little empty house tour. So we just got the keys today. My husband is actually at work, so it's just gonna be me and my mom putting a few things in. But before all that, let me just get started. Right when you enter the front door, this is basically what you see, so it's like a little hallway, but onto your right, you have, we have like this little half bath, which, you know, has all the essentials. And then this is where we're gonna put our laundry, like our washer and our dryer. And then on the left, you have, well, you have this area. We're planning to actually put our dining table here. So make this like a little dining area. And then you have the kitchen here. So pretty standard, you know, from military housing, there's like a dishwasher, an oven, a stove, um, fridge. Of course, nothing is in it just yet. And then this is gonna be, so see this big area right here is what we plan to be our big living room. So we're probably gonna have like our couch here and then like the TV somewhere there. And then this is annoying because it keeps making a noise. This is our backyard. So it's not much, but we do have a patio and you know, a little yard for our dog. Let's see if they fix this one. So we have like a little storage. Okay, let's go back inside. Oh, also I forgot to say, we do have a little storage area under the stairs as well. It's like a little Harry Potter closet. And then this is perfect. This is what we need, central AC, especially if you're pregnant. So let's go up. And then this is the funny part because right when you go up the stairs, they're basically all doors. They're like one, two, three, four, five, six doors that welcome you when you go up the stairs. So it's like a game. So on the first door on the left, this is the smallest room that we have. We do have a three bedroom, two and a half bath. So this is gonna be the smallest room. We might turn this into our baby girl's nursery. And then this is the second um, bedroom. This is what we might turn into my office slash like a guest bathroom. So all the rooms have their own closets and then this little door here is basically just storage area. And then this is gonna be the guest bath. Okay, see the big bump? <laughs> All right, let's close that. And then this 
is the master bedroom. So don't really like the light, don't like how all the lights are warm, so probably change the bulbs and then add a few more um, lamps and stuff because I do like rooms to be bright. Yeah, master bedroom is pretty big. It's basically, I think it's the same size as the bedroom that we had before. We do have like this walk-in mini closet. And then this is our master bathroom. This is gonna be your first time living in military housing though, so we'll see how that goes. And then last door on the second floor is basically just this hella big storage area. Like you have so much space here, so we'll probably put like luggage or whatever and then like all these shelves. So we are gonna be paying 2,300 every month for this three bedroom, two and a half bath. One of the main reasons why we moved to military housing is because we actually realized that we're paying the exact same amount um, for the place that we live now. We would pay about 1950 or like 1900 for rent and then with electricities and water and everything, it would come out to like 2200, 2300 a month, which is basically the same as this but this is a bigger place because back then we would just have two bedrooms and two bathrooms and here we get three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms and we also get central AC, we get a dishwasher. Also, I forgot to mention, um, for the 2300 that we'll be spending here, that does include utilities, not a bad deal. Okay, so it is a little later on. Um, I'm like way out of breath because what we did was um, we had suitcases that were like full of clothes and full of stuff for our baby and what we did was we took out the things that were inside the suitcases and we put them in there like <sighs> I'm out of breath we put them in there um we put them in their designated closet so we have boxes of shoes at the bottom we're probably going to move those over to the storage closet downstairs So we have like a few boxes there. So these are things that are actually gonna be for my office, but since I don't have my desk and like my shelves just yet, I'm gonna leave them in the boxes. So, okay, there we go. We put in a few things for our baby girl. So some wipes and some diapers are in there. A few blankets, bottles, um, our boppy carrier is there, our baby bullet. Um, I have a random ring light and a frame up top. This is actually full of like all her clothes, but the reason why we didn't take them out of the suitcase anymore is because, so that it wouldn't get dusty or dirty. The main reason why we wanted to bring home our suitcases is because we still do have a lot of clothes that we need to pack, and I didn't really want to put them in boxes or like storage containers. Um, I would prefer to put them in our suitcases. So that's gonna include all of our clothes, towels, bed sheets, all those things. We're gonna pack them in the suitcases, which is why we still wanted to bring the suitcases back. These are the bags that are coming back with us. We still have to pack them full of things. We have like a little air mattress and the pump thing that we're gonna leave behind too. And just a few more boxes here and there. On Thursday, when everything comes together, hopefully, at least that's when we have the moving truck. So that's when everything will basically be here. As we're done, um, we're gonna go back home and continue to pack some more to prepare for tomorrow's moving.